Hey Noah. Yeah. What you doing? Playing. Okay. Isaac. Uh oh. Why the strawberry got over here? I just don't. I can't work with you. See what I'm doing? Picking all the grasses, you just grab a clump and pull. But you only get the grasses. Okay? You don't get the strawberries. I can't, it'd be very hard to plant a seed seed, but the strawberry actually did produce like a stalk and they thinned out and like yeah. produce the plants. Runner. Yep, that's right, a runner. It's probably why they're out over there. A runner has it. Huh, that's funny, a runner. <laughs> Ow. Hey guys, welcome back. So tonight we're out here at the big garden again, uh, just working working on a few things that we wanted to do. Uh, we actually, I haven't showed this before, but we actually have a small little patch of strawberries that we planted last year that are um, in what I call the weedy part, just outside of our big garden. So we are trying to pull some of the weeds out from around those and put some compost around them and just show those strawberries a little love. and. So Will is with the older kids showing them the difference between what weeds are and the strawberries and we're trying to clean those up a little bit. But the weather here is beautiful tonight and I do have a few started plants of cabbage and broccoli that I wanted to transplant out here just to see if I can get, get them to grow and hopefully get a little bit of a harvest off them. I have never grown cabbage or broccoli before and um, I do have a few cabbage plants that are in my raised beds back home but they're really not doing that well and I planted those last fall. So I wanted to try to put a few plants out here this spring just to see if I could have any success. It's February 27th today and it's actually beautiful. It's a really warm day. It got into the mid 70s and uh, we're going to have some more cloudy and rainy weather coming up at the beginning of next week so I wanted to go ahead and get them in the ground today. But uh, we're just having fun out here, cleaning up with the garden. I wanted to bring you along with us. You having fun, Noah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How are the strawberries looking? The plants themselves like look okay, I guess. Except for this one. It's got yeah. brown spots on it. Yeah. What? There's this tiny one over here. It's got a few spots on it. I don't know if you guys can see these or not, but all these are those little onion plants that I planted just a few weeks ago. And they're all sprouting up and looking nice. All right, so these are some seedlings I have of, um, this is Castle Dome broccoli and early golden acre cabbage. And this is some kale, uh, ragged jack kale and curly kale. And then these are some beets here and there. Just a, a mixture of rainbow beets and some Detroit dark red. Hey Randy. So I have about eight feet of garden bed space that I don't have anything allotted for yet that I'm gonna plant in the summer garden. So I wanted to bring these out here and just kind of space them out and see how many I can fit here in my little area that I have. And then I'm gonna put a few more in my backyard at home. Poking a hole in the cardboard below. That's a good idea. Prevent them. They'll let the roots have something to pass through easily. Yeah. yeah. With a butter knife. <laughs> That's what I brought to use.
Not a bad little strawberry plant. It's got a white flower on it and I thought it was a weed and I started to pull it. <laughs> <laughs> Poor little strawberry, never saw it coming. It didn't, and I feel bad. I've seen a lot of people like, Dowding does it where he'll plant clusters of beets, like four of them all together. Yeah. And they grow all together and they do just fine. And then I see a ton of other people who are like, you have to thin them. And to get a bigger beet and a more established plant. And I don't know, I guess both work. I just don't want to mess up. All right, so this is what I got done so far this evening. And I think this is where I'm gonna stop. But um, I went ahead and I planted um, from here all the way down to where that straw stops. That's where my onions are. Here are some little Ragged Jack kale seedlings. These are curly blue kale. And in between them, I went ahead and put some beets that I had been growing. Here is some uh, broccoli. This is Castle Dome broccoli which is supposed to be a more compact variety. Um, another four broccoli is one, two, three, four. And then down here is um, also some cabbage, go early golden acre cabbage. Uh, so in between them, I transplanted some beet. So these are Detroit dark red beets, and I just put them in between the cabbages. So hopefully um, as things grow, it'll fill out and it'll be densely planted, but not too much. So I'm trying these for the first time this year. I've never successfully grown cabbage or broccoli, or beets for that matter. Um, I have done kale though. And um, so I've seen a lot of differing um, ideas on the best way to grow beets as far as in clusters or to thin them out so they're a single plant. Most of the ones I transplanted have two or three clustered together. So I'm just gonna try it and see what happens. I figured if I fail, I'll know how to do it differently for next time. But uh, so, Anyway, this is all an exciting thing for me. I'm hoping to get some cabbage. But the cabbage that I have is called uh, Early Golden Acre. It's a um, more of a compact variety sold by Park Seed. It said the heads on it get about six to seven inches. And the Castle Dome broccoli um, is just supposed to be a very good broccoli variety. But I honestly don't know much about the different broccoli varieties. So I picked this one because it had good reviews and we'll try it. It's my garden kitty. This is Randy Savage. Say hey, Randy. Anyway, while I was planting those, my husband was uh, weeding the strawberries and trying to improve the strawberry patch. It's just a really nice evening out here in the garden. I don't know if you can hear the crickets, or maybe those are frogs. The sounds of nature, who knows? It's enjoyable though. So this is William's little strawberry patch on the edge of the garden that he's working on. He got a lot weeded. It looks pretty good. We kind of stopped here. Um, the strawberry patch kind of extends down to those blocks there. So you can see we have more work to do. But it looks good so far. I'm just gonna put some compost around them. So I hadn't felt a single mosquito bite oh, until, until you said it and then I've been bitten about three or four times now. That's gonna look good when you finish. I think so. Hey, Micah. Uh, what you doing? Shovel uh, some dirt. Shovel some dirt? Hey, you want to go help me check the chickens? No. We've got to do this right now. And then we're going to go check the chickens. Oh. We've got to do this right now. Okay, are you doing that for Dad? Oh, you all right? Yes. Yeah. All right, let's go check the chickens. Try to keep up. Okay, let me help you. Oh, you got it? All right. Let's go. Hey, Micah, I think Grandpa already got the eggs. Yes, it's any more. Do you see any? No. Yep, no. Grandpa already got them, so there's no. none to get today. No. All right. 
Thank you for your help. That's Colonel Sanders. He's probably our best rooster. That one rooster right there. That one? Yeah, that's Colonel Sanders. He's a good rooster. Isn't he pretty? And that's his partner in crime, that's Stripey. Bye. Hey guys, it's the next day. Uh, we just ran out of time yesterday and uh, the sun went too low and we just didn't get all the strawberries done. But today's Sunday, we went to church this morning, uh, took it easy this afternoon, and now we're out here this evening working again on weeding those strawberries. And I just wanted to check on those little transplants that I put in yesterday. Kids are out here playing on the dirt pile, the compost pile, and uh, William's with the older two, Kaylin and Luke getting their help weeding the strawberries and they're helping but they're not loving it so here's the strawberries we got weeded yesterday put down a nice layer of compost and here's the strawberries we're working on today how are you guys doing kids we're doing okay not so well what's wrong Luke I don't know. he's upset because he thinks helping the strawberries is torture Hey Luke. Yeah. Look at me. Hard work's good for you, man. And think of all the good, juicy, big strawberries we're gonna we're gonna eat this year. That's or right. Next year. That's gonna wear me out. All right. So here's the little seedlings we did uh, last night, and uh, they look pretty good. Some kale, beets, cabbage, and broccoli. I'm pretty happy with those. And there are our onions sprouting. All right, things are looking much better. So this is the area that we just got weeded. And that is the area where we put compost in last night. So William is actually loading up a wheelbarrow load of compost right now. And we're just gonna bring it over and put it around these existing strawberries just to make them happy and hopefully uh, choke some of the weeds out from later this year. <laughs> Isaac's bottle. Yeah, so we got the rest of the compost put in here. This little strawberry patch is just shaping right up. Here's the fresh compost we just laid, so it's a little more, it's darker just because it hasn't dried out yet. It's looking good. So we got our little strawberry patch weeded and put a fresh layer of compost around everything. And we found quite a few runners where the strawberries have propagated and uh, made a second plant so we transplanted those back kind of in a row just to keep everything nice and neat and looking nice but one thing I wanted to show you guys I'll try to get the camera so y'all can see this but strawberry plants actually have a little crown here's a strawberry that we just transplanted if you see this little area right here this little pointy area that is the crown right there in the center 
that is the crown of the strawberry. So if you're planting strawberries or you're transplanting other shoots and you put them in the ground, you wanna make sure that that little crown is not covered up by the soil. So you just wanna be super careful and plant them shallow and push the dirt in around it so that the roots are secure. But you wanna make sure that little crown is exposed to the light. If you cover that crown up with dirt, you're gonna kill your strawberry plant. Hey boys, you wanna come help me move some rocks? <laughs> All right, come here boys, I'll show you what I want you to do. You see these rocks here? These are rocks that we pulled out of the garden when we were plowing it last year. All right, so I want you to take those rocks and I want you to one by one go over to the strawberry bed here and lay them around the edge of the bed where the compost stops to make a nice little edge, a little line around the garden. Can you do that for me? Start at that corner and just make a nice little rock edge like you're making a rock wall. Put it, put it down. Nope. Here, let me show you, Micah. Right here. I want you to put the rocks right here. So it makes a nice little wall. Yeah, and line them up. Line them up all around that line. All right, I'm pretty happy with the progress we got done tonight. I don't know if I showed you earlier, but I, we got all eight garden beds fully covered with compost. So those are ready to plant once uh, we're done with our last frost. But I was really happy with the way our strawberries turned out. They look good, don't they, Luke? Uh-huh, they're right over there. I'm mm -hmm. about to go check the chicken eggs. Yep, let's go check the chickens. Let's see if we got any eggs. Do you have any eggs in there? No. It's just chicken poop. Just chicken poop? Hey, I see some eggs right there. Here? Oh, yeah. Yes. Micah, come here and put them in my shirt. Did you crack that one? All right. Put the rest of them in my shirt. I got them. I want to put these and eat them in my pocket. Okay. Don't put them in your pocket because then they'll get cracked and they'll mess your pants up. Okay? I'm just going to hold them. Hold them with your hands. Be very careful. Hey, how many eggs do you have? Six. Yeah, there's six, seven, eight. <laughs> treat time. William's giving the chickens a treat, isn't he? Is Daddy giving the chickens a treat? Yes. All right. So thank you for hanging out with us while we get our strawberry patch straightened up. And, and we, eggs. And while we get our eggs. Yeah. You did a good job helping me. I just had one. Your face is very dirty. Did you know that? Thank you for hanging out with us. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.